welcome back guys to yet another World of Warcraft video on this channel. Today we are going to talk about something that is going to be very good right now and has been very good, uh, but also something that will be very good for the weeks to come. And uh, what we're talking about is the intermediate materials for legendaries. Now, the reason that I want to talk about these materials specifically is because a lot of legendary crafters will find it worth it to pay a little bit extra for some of them instead of having to craft them themselves. Especially also sometimes they can't craft them themselves because they don't have the materials or don't have the time or whatever it is. So today I'm going to be talking to you guys about what those are. We are going to be focusing specifically on the essences for jewel crafting. So that is going to be prospecting, obviously, and that can be done through a bunch of the ore. And we're going to talk about why some are good, why some are better and worse and all that. And the other thing will be enchanted materials. So that will be your, um, your enchanted light the silk, your enchanted heavy callus, and your enchanted lithium bars. Now, we are going to be taking it from a perspective of my realm, but you guys can still very much look at this yourself. Uh, for your own realm and and chances are they're probably pretty good on your realms, too Now to figure it out for the enchanted materials is very easy because what you can do is you can look at your auction house And you can be like, okay Well for the enchanted lightless silk, it's two lightless silk and one soul dust How much is lightless silk on the auction house? It is 20 gold So two of these would be 40 gold plus uh, soul dust you can get this currently for 17 gold. You could probably get it cheaper if you were to shuffle it through, you know, making some uh, armor pieces and leatherworking or, or tailoring and then disenchanting them with, uh, you know, enchanting. But if you were to buy it, it would be 17 gold on top. So that would be 57 gold. You can see right here that Enchanted Lightless Silk is currently selling for 93 gold. And people are actively buying this because the profit on the legendaries is high enough to justify a purchase like this. And there, that's one thing. And obviously, don't overinvest to some, into some of these markets. They move around a lot. But it's something that you can build up a little bit of value on and start out your capital if you're trying to make more gold out of something that you farm or you're trying to get. Now, the other thing we could look at would be Enchanted Lithium Bars. You can see here, they are 250 gold at the moment, 225 or 222 rather, on the market value. And Elithium currently is 68 gold. And it's two Elithium and a Soul Dust. So you'd be using 68 point, uh, 68 point whatever. But 68 times two would be 138, 136 actually. Uh, 136 gold plus 17, which would be 155 gold, right? So there's a 100 gold wiggle, wiggle room, so there's also a lot of room for profit. And then we can look at the Enchanted Heavy Callus Hide, and there we have currently on the server for 514 gold. We're looking at Heavy Callus being 194, so 194 times 2 would be a little under 400 gold, plus a 17 gold soul dust, maybe lower. And that's also around 100 gold profit. So that is something you could go into through enchanting, obviously. Enchanting is the uh, profession that makes that. Now the second one, which is a little more intricate and requires a little more thought and, and, and ideas put into it, is going to be prospecting and jewel crafting. And you can see that I'm currently prospecting some lace, right? And that's because I got it very cheaply. Uh, now, how do you find out what a cheap price is? Well, you use something like Manfius's legendary uh, cheat sheet spreadsheet that he has. And there is a section on this spreadsheet that is called prospecting. Now, when you go into this specific uh, subsection on the spreadsheet, there is a cost calculator all the way over here. So you can see how much the cost is per essence, per gem, and per essence per ore. Is, you know, you get some different numbers based on the price of each different material. So you could look at lay stripe being set as 7 gold, and you could look at Elysium being 70 gold. So we can always take it like this, that Elysium is 10 times the value of what lay stride is. You will get the same out of, like, if, if, if lay stride is 7 gold, you will get the same value out of prospecting that as you would if Elysium was 70 gold. But they're obviously very different price points, which means that sometimes the other one might be might be better than the other. But it's just something to obviously consider. 
and then obviously depending on what what kind of ore that you go for you can put in your specific values and you can see your cost per essence what we are looking at is the cost per essence so currently i am prospecting lace stride ore at seven gold each now you can see on this spreadsheet here that the actual essence is worth 212 gold now what can i use an essence for well i can use it for jewel crafting legendaries but i can also use it for the vestige of the eternal in jewel crafting and it is one of the cheaper ones so multiple people might be going for that one specifically but the reason that i want to talk about it is if even if you can't craft them you can sell them on the auction house to players that are too lazy or don't have value their time that way so they're buying them off the auction house you can see right here that the essence of torment is 490 gold so 214 gold up to 490 it's over double and the same thing goes for essence of rebirth it's 350 gold it's a 130 gold increase maybe almost a very close and then obviously the essence of valor is 109 and you got the essence of servitude at 180 now those two specifically obviously are not very valuable so you have to remember when you're prospecting lace right or you're prospecting elethium you get all four essences so you have to make sure that you can make gold on it if you can't craft legendaries you have to make sure that you're still making good profits on it but actually you can see here considering the fact that the essence of torment and rebirth are up in the higher class price values you could maybe think that these could increase your profits a little bit this is very server dependent so obviously check that out um, the other part is going for individual ones so if you were to go for individual ones you could take selenium or you could take oxine phaedrum sinvir sinvir is the one that goes for um for what do you call it for torment so currently we could see the torment was worth what a 490 and we have sinvir currently at 27 27 gold we'll say so currently one uh one essence of torment would be 410 gold to prospect if you were to buy the sinvir ore at this current price and then we can look at the essence of rebirth which is 350 we're looking at our phaedrum it's 28 gold i can already tell you guys right now that that one is not going to be worth it to go for for that you can see 424 much cheaper to buy that one this is also good if you're crafting legendaries to be aware of this and this is the same thing for all of the ore but there is potential for profit looking at these markets also if you're crafting legendaries you can save a lot of gold going for some of the different ones now progenia more is one of the newer ones um and progenia more has to be very low in value before it's actually worth but you can see already here on terran mill where i play progenia more is down to 21 gold actually so you can see that 21 gold puts uh the average essence at about 350 gold so it's definitely getting down there with this one gets down to maybe like 13 12 gold it's probably going to be one of the best ones uh as for for value the essence drop rates uh, compared to lace right specifically the essence drop rates are almost twice as good uh so that means that you we probably won't see progenium more go lower than twice the price of lace right i wouldn't imagine that um it, even if that if that happens they're going to be very very good to go for uh and also the green gems that we get from progenium more is three times the amount so you can see here i put a thousand lay strike we could also just say ten thousand lay strike you can see it's almost a, a thousand of each of them and then if we put ten thousand e in, into here you can see it's almost four thousand you can see that it's actually four times as much pretty much uh, when it comes to the green gems so you're actually going to be getting quite a lot of raw gold back which increases the value of progenium uh, more quite a lot so i also recommend that you guys look out for that one specifically um because of those reasons but that's basically all that i wanted to talk to you guys about i wanted to uh, bring attention to this because it's something that i've been focusing on a lot to make sure that i make as much gold uh, as possible on my legendary crafts but also to sell some essences on the side if they're really good profit. Uh, obviously, this you know might be a little different for your server, so make sure you guys check that out. But that is going to be everything that I had for this video. So until the next one. See you guys!